Good morning and welcome to Wonderful Wednesday. Yay! It's Wednesday today and it's wonderful. Why is it wonderful? Well, because I say, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> today is Wonderful Wednesday and I am giving glory to God and praise. Why am I so hyped and excited, you say? Why? Because it's my daughter's birthday! Yes, I'm acting crazy and I'm actually going to regret this, I am sure, after. But I am so in awe of the glory of God, of how he has blessed me to live to see my daughter's birthday. Now, I can't say her age because I'm 37 and holding. And because I'm 37 and holding, you won't need to know her age. Anyway, my daughter was born today at 6.55 a.m exactly the day that she was born is today on a Wednesday. So I am just giving God praise, okay? So, happy birthday to Shari. My heartbeat, just, oh, I'm gonna share with you anyway, even though tomorrow is Testimony Thursday, but I'm gonna share with you. I also wanna say a big shout out and happy birthday to Janae, yay, Janae! Twins with my baby, born on the same day. And also, apologies to Holder, whose birthday was yesterday. And I was meant to call you, Holder. I was naughty. I got preoccupied. But I'm giving you a massive shout out today, okay? Happy birthday. And if you do me, you can have the birthday for the whole month. Hey, please. Oh, you've only got to tomorrow. So bring it into next. Bring it into next week. So, what's today's devotional? I think it was just so poignant when I was there looking for the devotional to share with you today and to say you know lord how can i just give you glory and give you praise and and just let people know how joyful i am for this blessed day and this came stay focused on what you have amen so let's share as we lock down and isolate our goal will be to focus on what we have and to do things which are enjoyable the scripture talks about how God has given us the power to enjoy what is allotted and appointed to us. That simply means that you have the power to enjoy your life. You may have success, money, friends or a good job, but if you put God in your life, you are going to enjoy way more. God has uniquely designed us to run our race. Don't be tempted to compare yourself or wish you had what someone else has. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't think it's only, if only I had their talent, uh-uh. No, if God wanted you to have that talent, he would have given it to you, that's right. Instead, take what you have and develop it. Develop it, see, I need to work on my language, develop it. <laughs> Make the most of it. Don't think, if only I had her looks, no, 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 because I'm flossom, so I'm happy in Jesus, amen? No, God gave you your looks. That's not an accident. The life you have has been perfectly matched for you. So enjoy and stay focused. Today, you've got to do your part and get excited about life. Woohee! In isolation or not. Be excited about who you are and whose you are. The child of the most high God. Your looks, your talent, your ability, your personality. When you're passionate about who you are, it brings honor to God. Then God will breathe in your direction and the seeds of greatness in you will take root and begin to flourish. Remember, God has given us the power to enjoy what is allotted and appointed to us. Here is what I have seen. It is good and fitting for one to eat and drink and to enjoy the good of his labor in which he toils under the sun all the days of his life, which God gives him, for it is his heritage. Ezekiel 5.18. And this is where I just want to share with you today how blessed I am to see this day of my daughter's birthday. So as I said, I told you she was born exactly on Wednesday a few years ago. <laughs> and in so doing I was a teenager so there you go there's a little bit more for you gave birth to this beautiful little baby had no clue never seen a newborn baby before the child looked like one bird I was 
petrified, okay? And from that journey, transitioning to where we are today, I can see God kept me, God kept us. You know, I was, um, I'm still in awe at the journey that we have gone through together, you know, and back in the day, and I'm saying back in the day, but remember I'm still, you know, 37, is that, um, you know, well, if you got church parents, having a child out of wedlock is a abominable sin, and now I'm just not worthy. Oh, you're not worthy. You're the black sheep of the family. Why you have to go do these things? And it just keeps on and on and on. But God has a plan. And this is what I want to share with you. When you think you're in mess and dire, God brings miracles and blessings out of your mess. Fast forwarding to 2001. So just after my father died, in December 2000 I was so distraught and here I am with this little girl trying to live our best lives and this time I became unwell and I got my first blood clot and this was the beginning of the journey of my life of all kind of ups and downs and crisis upon crisis and then being diagnosed with lupus and then later on rheumatoid arthritis and all kind of fiascos but at the end of the day my baby was there with me and this little girl that at first was seen as i had done all wrong god used her to bless me you know and i'm not going to take long because i know that you know everyone's got their work and things to do but i just have to share this with you that there was days that when I couldn't do for myself, my baby did it for me. You know, there was, oh my gosh, I'm gonna start choking up. You're not supposed to cry. Oh Lord. But anyway, there are times when, um, <clears throat> a prime example, um, one Sabbath, my daughter knew that we started going to church. I was quite sad. I, you know, when he wanted to go to church and she goes, mommy, don't worry. Don't worry, mommy, give me, Give me half an hour. I said, okay. <laughs> I think she was about 11. She said, give me half an hour, mommy. I'm going to go and I'm going to come back and we're going to have church. I said, okay. This is interesting. Anyway, what she'd done is she came back. And when I say this child truly blessed me, this child came with the whole divine hour, the whole church service. She did the intro, the welcome, the, the scripture, the praise and worship, a little sermon. It. I just lay in my bed and said, glory be to the father. Thank you for my daughter. She touched my spirit and blessed my soul that day. She gave me hope, hope I didn't even know that I could have because I was so disabilitated. Then also, the fact that she was my daughter and a girl because I was so disabled at that time, she was the one that was having to help bath me and, and help bring me to the toilet. And you know, my daughter has gone through some stuff with me as her mother. And then you see, when I get back on my foot, the child don't want me to feel like I'm miss old. So when she gets into the teenage years now, she decides to give me the problems. But let me tell you, even that I give her glory for. Because my child is one of the sweetest, kindest, caring human beings on this planet. And I'm not just saying that because she's my daughter. But she will love you unconditionally. And she is loyal. Sometimes loyal to her fault. But then she have her liquor side. Which I believe is from the father's side, you know. Not my side. It's the, the crazy, the wild side. The side where when he had take him. And he lose his mind. And that's the side I have to just go before Jesus. But she's still my child. So I just want to say to all of you out there, whether you are a parent or not, give God thanks. Give God praise and be grateful for the nieces, the nephews, the grands, the cousins, the relationships that we can have with people. Because it's through God Almighty that we can have them. 
So let us pray together. I've gone way over my time. Me too excited. <laughs> right? What a mess. <laughs> but that's okay. So, Father, I thank you for giving me the gifts of my daughter and the talent and abilities to enjoy life and accomplish your will. Even in these difficult situations, God, today I will put my trust and hope in you, knowing that you have equipped me for the destiny you have for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you all for hearing and listening. Enjoy this wonderful Wednesday and just take the time to think about even that one person who's touched you in your life. Stay blessed.